Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter while working with SVGs. Our viewer is using getOrgChart to create an organization chart for their company, but they've hit a snag. They want to add a scroll bar to their SVG container to make navigation easier when the chart is larger than the display area. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help them out. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To add a scroll bar to your SVG container, we first need to ensure that the container has a defined size. This allows the overflow property to take effect. Next, we will modify the CSS to enable scrolling. We can set the overflow property to scroll for the container that holds the organization chart. Now let's ensure that the JavaScript code initializes the organization chart correctly. Make sure you have included the necessary libraries and set up the data source. Finally, test your implementation. When the SVG exceeds the container size, you should see a scroll bar appear, allowing you to navigate through the chart easily. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To add a scroll bar to your SVG container, you need to set two important CSS rules, max height and overflow Y. Set overflow Y to auto and max height to a specific height to trigger the scroll bar. For a static approach, consider using media queries to adjust sizes for different screens, but this may not cover all scenarios. A better option is to use a scroll plugin for responsiveness. CSS was designed for static content, but with dynamic content, issues can arise, like scroll bar width affecting layout. Some recommended scroll plugins include Simple Bar, Perfect Scroll Bar, and Nano Scroller JS. And that's it. I hope you found the solution that you're looking for. If you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.